The flagpoles in Mario games are an icon of the series, and of video games in general, really. The look of it has changed over the years, as well as how many points or extra lives you get from grabbing it. But what hasn't changed is this iconic sequence of events. You know the drill. You see a tall staircase, you know you're about to beat the level. You ready to make a big leap to the end, score some points, and bring the flag down- What? Uh, where is the flag? Okay, I guess I'll just hop off and go to the castle. The ending sequence everyone knows and loves has been disrupted by the disappearance of the flag, but who would do such a thing, and why? Our first suspect in this murder mystery are those wretched speedrunners. There's nothing they love more than ruining your childhood to save a fraction of a second. Today I'll crack the case of the missing flag. As with my last video, which by the way you should watch if you haven't yet, this video is sponsored by Factor 75. Factor 75 is the most convenient way to eat well and eat right. They send chef-created meals to your door, and then you just heat them up and enjoy. I've tried a few so far, and they've all tasted great. Figuring out what to eat can always be a really hard question to answer, but Factor can help you answer that question without sacrificing quality. Their meals are dietitian approved, they can help you meet your nutrition goals, and they have options for all different diets and preferences. Factor also helps you answer the question of what to eat by providing you with plenty of options. There's a weekly rotating menu with more than 27 meal options, and anyone you pick is easy to heat up and eat. If you want to try out Factor 75, use my link in the description or go to go.factor75.com and use code PODCOSMIC120 for $120 off. Things not spawning in Super Mario Bros. is something that happens constantly as you play the game. Speedrunners take advantage of this where they can, like hitting the vine in 4-2 to make it so no plant appears in this pipe, or stomping these two Koopas in 8-1 so only two Goombas appear here instead of three. But this isn't something that only happens when speedrunners do special tricks, this happens all the time in regular gameplay. The easiest example to demonstrate this is, have you ever seen a pipe in Super Mario Bros. that didn't have a piranha plant in it? I mean, yeah, it seems like half the pipes in the game don't have one. Well, after 1-1, every single vertical pipe is meant to have a piranha plant in it, and if it doesn't, that means that it didn't spawn. For a long time, it was known that it was possible for the flag to despawn as well. Runners were even able to save some time with it occasionally, in level A3 of the Lost Levels. But this one's a little different from the others. You can actually see the flag appear briefly before it's sent to another dimension. So why does that happen? The whole reason for things not spawning is because Super Mario Bros. has a limited number of sprite slots available. It has 5 slots which enemies and various objects can load into, and then slot 6 which is reserved for special things like power-ups. Let's talk about the main 5 slots first. If it's time to load an enemy, or even something like a platform, but all 5 slots are already full, then that thing simply won't ever spawn. This can actually be a really big problem here in 5-3, unless you make sure to stomp on this Goomba. For the special slot 6, whenever it's time for a special item to spawn, like a power-up, it knows right where it needs to go, so it always loads into slot 6 without any hesitation. This behavior is the reason that you can't have multiple power-ups on screen at the same time. One power-up will just totally overwrite the other one in slot 6. Another special object that always loads into slot 6 is the flag on the flagpole. If we hack a power-up to be right next to the flagpole, you can see it delete the flag. But that's clearly not what's happening here in A-3. So how does this flag despawn work? Under extenuating circumstances, there are a couple other things in the game that could load into slot 6. The star flag that comes out of the castle at the end of levels is a very important object, since other functions in the game depend on it. It goes down the list of sprite slots, checking for the earliest available one to load into. If slot 1 is open, it'll load there, but if it gets down to slot 6 and even that is occupied, say goodbye to whatever was there. Now you can probably see why the flag gets deleted right around the time you'd expect the star flag to load in. So that's the basic recipe for despawning the flag. Make sure that the 5 main sprite slots are filled, and then the star flag will pick slot 6 to load into and overwrite the flag. I think the developers knew this could theoretically happen. We can't know their intentions for sure, but they did put this code in here that checks to see if the flag is found in slot 6, and if it's not, it skips ahead to the next routine. Or in other words, it tells Mario to just jump off the pole and go to the castle. This saves 0.7 seconds, which is pretty significant in a game like this. So can it be done anywhere else? Unfortunately, these games are purposefully designed in such a way that they don't have a lot of sprites near the flag. You could bring some extra enemies with you to the flag, but because there's usually a staircase at the end of the level, your options are often limited to bullet bills or Koopas that have been glitched into the floor. Also, all of that is really slow. 
We need to find another place where we can despawn the flag without having to slow down at all. It didn't look like this was going to be possible anywhere else until in January of this year when this happened. Uh, uh, huh, huh, why, 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 did I just find flag despawn? GTA 99 was doing speedruns of the lost levels when the flag despawned out of nowhere. If we look at what happened, there weren't even five sprites on the screen, so why did it despawn? It turns out that between the original Super Mario Bros. and the sequel games that use the same engine, like the lost levels or even Versus Super Mario Bros., the arcade version, something changed with vines. Vines always occupy two sprite slots, even in the original, but for whatever reason in these later ones, vines will permanently occupy one of the main five slots, even after they've gone off screen. In GTA's video, he accidentally made the vine come out in 2-1, and that's normal, it happens all the time, but that alone wasn't enough. Even with it occupying a slot permanently, you're still one short normally. GTA's also accidentally stomped on this Paracoupa, which made it start moving to the right, which kept it on screen longer, and which ultimately meant that all five sprite slots were filled when the star flag loaded. That day the community was abuzz with the new discovery and the knowledge that vines could be used to help despawn the flag. We went straight to work trying to find other places we could save time with it. I theorized that it could be done in A-1, since there's a vine here, and three Koopas and a platform at the end of the stage. I worked with three Creepio to make it happen, and even though you have to wall jump up here to hit the vine, it still ended up saving time. It was a really fun puzzle to solve. You have to do some of what I call juggling the sprite slots to make sure that the correct things load. Another time save was found by a runner named Simplistic Memes. The arcade version of Super Mario Bros. has three Goombas on the staircase at the end of 6-2. That, plus the piranha plant, plus the vine earlier in the level, allows for another flag despawn without slowing down at all. And so far, that's all the places that flag despawn saves time in speedruns but in theory, it can be done in a bunch of other places just for fun. While searching for places that it could save time, we couldn't help but mess around a bit too. I gathered an army of four spinies in 9-1 and used them to help despawn the flag there. Kriller uploaded a video of flag despawn in 5-1 of Super Mario Bros using three bullets and two Koopas. That was all that happened back then, but while working on this video, I was curious about a couple other levels that I thought could have cool solutions for despawning the flag. In 3-2, I got two Koopas in the ground and brought them with me to the end. Three other enemies load in here, so we have our five. This last Goomba is going to turn all the others around if we don't do something about it though. The solution was taking damage on the right side of him, which makes him start walking towards you. These five enemies were then just barely close enough to the staircase to stay loaded and despawn the flag. I also realized that 3-3 has a bunch of platforms near the flagpole. Three of these can stay loaded when you reach the flag, which means we'll need to bring two more enemies with us. The problem is, the enemies in this stage are red Koopas, which don't fall off ledges. I had to get really creative to get them stuck on the bottom of the screen. But once that was done, I brought them to the end with me, and was rewarded with another flagless flagpole. This type of puzzle solving is why I really love speedrunning and video game science. I hope you enjoyed learning about this, and if you did, please subscribe because I plan on making more videos like this. Thanks for watching!